This is John Conroy from Bebop Technology. I'm our Vice President of Marketing and Communications, and I'm going to give a brief demonstration of how simple uh, it is for a user to log into the Bebop platform and begin editing in the cloud using Adobe Premiere as an example. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is open up the Bebop client software, which is sitting on my Mac. We also obviously have a Windows version and I will log in with my credentials. And Bebop has two-factor authentication, so I am now gonna send myself a push and authorize that on my phone. And now we have opened up the client software. The, uh, before I open up a workstation, that I do wanna briefly show uh, the ingest tool, which is here. The ingest tool is, uh, much more robust than simply an uploader. Um, although obviously uh, uploading client to the Bebop storage in the cloud is a crucial aspect of this. Uh, we also use this as a workflow management tool. Uh, and by that, what that means is that it allows administrators and users to create new projects and manage projects based off of what your existing workflow is. Uh, so, for example, if it's a broadcaster or production company that has a television series, they may have a project that is the series name with then sub-projects sub uh, associated with individual seasons, individual episodes, specials, and so forth, various feature films. Uh, with the creation of projects, uh, there's also the uh, access uh, that the users can uh, assign to individual Bebop users within the organization so that um, if certain editors only work on certain programs or certain films, whatever the projects are, it enables uh, the administrator to um, allow as many or as few people as they want access to those individual projects. Uh, the ingest tool is also used, uh, can also be used to create a archive that is then sent to S3 and it from a workflow standpoint, it's really designed to be as flexible as it needs to be to, for the fact that all of our customers have their own unique workflows and, and operate in ways that work best for them. So you may uh, create projects and uh, provide access to those projects based off of the individual editors that are working on a, on a, on a series or a film. It may be uh, for viewing dailies, it can be for a marketing team to create trailers uh, and so forth, whatever you need it to be. But we're gonna go back to the dashboard and we're gonna open up a pod. And by starting up this pod, which is happening right here, uh, what this is doing is creating my uh, instance in the cloud. Um, the pods, as you can see, obviously this is connected to the US West uh, AWS region. Uh, we also have regions in Ireland for the United Kingdom and European Union, as well as in Sydney for Asia Pacific. And uh, obviously there are regulatory issues involved with the European Union and so forth and content having, having to reside there when it's being worked on and so forth. But we also uh, segment regionally to enable organizations that have people in various locations around the globe to have uh, the fastest possible instance in the cloud. Uh, so that if someone is uh, working on a project that was created in Los Angeles on AWS, it creates a duplicate if necessary in uh, Asia Pacific so that someone who is uh, editing uh, in Sydney can uh, log in to the Asia Pacific region and have an instance that will have no lag. So now that we've got the green, I'm going to click that. And what is going to happen next is uh, the computer environment that I'm currently in, which is obviously Mac, is going to shift to being Windows based because it will be the workstation in the cloud. And that will pop open right now. And it will automatically load up the Bebop dashboard in the cloud instance.
So before I open up Premiere and uh, show what the playback looks like and the content there, um, the first thing to note is that we have a clock here that keeps track of the amount of time that you are logged into the Bebop workstation. Bebop is a pay-as-you-go model. Uh, and so you only pay for uh, the amount of time that you're actually utilizing the Bebop platform to edit in the cloud rather than uh, a, single, a single fee. Uh, we also have a Mac-enabled keyboard here. This is for editors and post-production professionals that are used to working in a Mac environment and have created their own shortcuts, for example, um, and hotkeys. Uh, what that enables is that same environment will now work in, in Windows as well. So it just makes it simpler uh, for, for them to not have to change the way that they work. Uh, because that is a key, um, a key feature that Bebop has had from the get-go and will continue to have in the future is uh, creating environments that enable people to work the way that they're used to working using the tools that they are used to working with in the cloud rather than having to change how they do anything. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is mount a project, which is uh, here, which was our NAB demo project. Uh, because Big Buck Bunny is what I want to show in Premiere. And so next I am going to load up Premiere. And uh, we keep the software that is on the Bebop platform and specifically the software that uh, individual customers are using on the Bebop platform uh, up to date. So that way you don't need to uh, do any updates yourself. And so we can skip that. Well, opening screen. And I'm going to sign into Creative Cloud. Bebop is a bring your own license model. So anyone with a Creative Cloud account can log in with that account info and then they will be licensed to use Premiere in the cloud. We'll select the demo bunny project and Premiere is now open. We'll import this and I will apologize in advance. My editing uh, skills are fairly rudimentary. this down to my timeline as well and this is a relatively short clip but as we can see uh, there is no lag in the movement of the cursor here um, keeping in mind that I am controlling this cursor uh, in the computer in the cloud uh, right off of my MacBook and And I can also shift over to full screen to show what this playback looks like. So I'm looking at this instance. I can also jump back and forth, and as we can see, there is no lag. And the entire process is as fluid as if I was running Premiere off of a desktop computer, except this is in the cloud. And that is the basics.